good afternoon to you. We find ourselves at the Spring Hill Municipal Airport. I've just made an adjustment to my Xeno. The Ozone Xeno is a two-liner. Two-liner glider means it's got A's and B's. And what happens over time is the A's stretch out and the B's shrink up. But I noticed the glider was getting just a little bit slower. The glider actually comes with loops tied into the rear lines. And so I've let those loops out. The instruction manual claims to do it at around 20 hours. I'm past there and I've also been overloaded on the glider. So it was time to do it. I'm going to test that and I'm going to test out this new Atom 80. It's ready for its first flight. So this is kind of like some dual action going on here. How soft is the dirt out here? Inevitably, I'll get stuck at some point. I think we're good. Conditions look nice. Looks pretty docile. I like docile conditions. That looks good. So I'm going to get the stuff out and then we'll get to it. Okay, we seem to be recording. I can't wait to fly this thing. I'm so excited. Of course, I set up and now I've got this blazing quartering tailwind. It, it never fails. Doesn't matter how you do it or what you set up for or what in the hell's going on. This is what you're gonna get. It should swirl around. I hope it does. Well, we'll see how long I stand there. All I gotta do is clip in and it'll just be wrecked. I still got a few minutes to warm up and get everything how it needs to be. Oh, I love this new harness. Love it. At least I loved it on the hang check. We'll find out how it flies. I don't foresee it being any sort of weird freaking tailwind. That'll wreck a launch quicker than anything. That one looks like it's shaping up pretty good. We're gonna find out. Let me get my mullet untangled. Seems to be snagging under the harness here. I've got a stiff tailwind. Come on now. Yeah, the winds are calm. And so the only thing you're really getting is thermal activity. Again, we got wind socks pointed in different directions all around the place here. I'll probably clip in and wait for a thermal gust to come around and hit me from the way that I got it laid out. I think I'm going to go for a reverse inflation. I think that would be the way to do it, at least on this glider. I try to reverse if I can, but if we need to move it, we'll move it. I'm a big boy. I know how to do this stuff. Speaking of big boys, should you get an Atom 80 if you're a big boy? I still don't think so. I still don't think so. Think that, like, like, just, just chin. Let's crank this thing up and wait and see what the wind gods bring us. It's about the, what, sixth, seventh time that I've started this thing up. Oh, look, things are moving. Things are moving. Clear. Oh, it didn't start. There it goes. First time it hadn't started, ever, like the last six, seven times I pulled it, it was first pull. Oh yeah, there's a nice gust coming this way. I'm gonna get this thing started up nicely here. Oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot to put my mirror on my throttle here. Okay, this one's changing direction maybe. Oh, big gust coming. That's nice. I'm able to attain full power. That's good. Hope this thing kites up nice. I've again I've retrimmed the glider, so we're gonna see how this trim job works. Should be good to go, but you just never know until until you go up there and test out your work. Alright, I think we're good here. Now what the hell man? We got wind blowing from every stupid direction. Why can't I get a gust over here, yo? I guess I could kite it up and run it out that way. Mm, I just don't know. I don't know if I should. I'm thinking I should wait because one thing's for certain if you pull your glider up and the wind's wrong you're probably gonna wreck your layout if it's light and it is light okay what am I feeling what am I feeling all right it looks like there's something coming my way oh look at here look at here that's it that's what I'm looking for let's get this thing up 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 gosh dang it nope 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 ah it's all right though I know what to do I've done this before. Let's try it again. Ha ha, there we go. Oh, let's climb up, get cooled off a little bit. Still quite a bit of thermal activity out and about. Oh, there we go. Oh, ho, ho. I'm in it now, boys. Woo! Feel it going up, and it ain't because I'm squeezing the gas. Okay, I just hit the edge of it. Let me turn back. I'm gonna go get some more of that. Come on, where's she at? Probably right here. Up, oh, yep. Up I go again. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep turning in that. That's some nice lift. 
probably don't go up real high, but usable. Got some smoke burning over there. So these lines are all on the glider properly. It's easier to see from an inflated flying position. Got some thermal markers over here with the smoke. That's cool. Let's go full power for a minute and see what's up. Buzzard, I like it. He's turning in the smoke because he's going up maybe. Don't know where he's going. He's looking for something to eat probably. Oh, there's some lift. Woo! Kind of late in the day for thermals. Oh, I just fell out of it. Yeah, they're pretty light, pretty mild. Okay, I'm gonna go down to idle for a minute again. And is it idling? It feels like it's still running a little bit, like. Okay, it's, it's coming down now. Ooh, I'm getting smoke. I smell it. That means that I'm in it. It's kind of rough right here. Uh, yeah, I say rough, like I can feel the air moving. You know, my definition of rough and other people's definition of rough is probably pretty dang variable. When I say rough air, I just mean not smooth. I don't mean dangerous or, you know, scary. I mean, there are several different levels to rough. When you think about sandpaper, it's all rough, but there are many different grits available. Just idling along. I think I'm still going up. I don't even have a Vario on, but I'm still climbing on this stinking wing here. <laughs> That's fun. I keep waiting on it to go back down to idle, but I don't think it is. Let's try a little flex on the, uh, I could have lost my spring, perhaps, that I put on the carburetor. I don't know. I'll investigate it after I land. This is not going to be a long flight. Yeah, I typically try to keep the first flights on an engine, a unit, somewhere in the 20 to 30 minute range. Something like that. I've only been up here about five. Uh, I love watching the air go up. Like the smoke, you just look out at the, at the horizon there, and the smoke looks like it's just sitting still but it is going up like should i take a time lapse of it you could certainly see it let's see what kind of traffic situation we got on the ground here is that my students i think it is they're slowing down and turning into the airport i expected them here about this time as far as new students you know as an instructor i'm i'm always evaluating the air uh, is this air okay for students oh check out these birds up here they're in a core i'm, I'm gonna go over here and join them Okay, I feel some turbulence. Oh, show me where it's at, boys. Where's it at? Where's it at? They'll lie to you. They'll bail. Those two just bailed. Look at here. I just went right up in between their little gaggle here. There's a bit of turbulence. And oh, there's some lift. Pretty smooth. We're just soaring around. Now, you don't want to follow the birds once you get here because they don't, they don't really care for you. They like to... I like to roll out on their own. Yeah, okay, there it is, though. I'm going to follow him with this one because the thermal has done drifted this way. So I'm going to go with them. Maybe they don't mind me. Maybe, maybe not. I catch myself thermaling without a Vario all the time. It's quite interesting. Yeah, I think they're out climbing me. I think they are. They don't need a Vario, do they? <laughs> nice. Woohoo! I'm at the edge of one there. Let's go back. Up, up. Still going up. 
it's still going up. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, where's the edge of this thing? Let's get out of it. Anywhere? Anywhere? I can tell the glider is flying a little bit differently. Like, it's not like massive. It's minute. It's, it's a very nuanced feeling. Like, what's different? I messed around and got stuck up here. <laughs> First world problems, huh? Oh, I'm going back in another thermal here. It's starting to cool off too. We are later in the uh, the highs today. We're only around 60. That is so wacky. I've got the winds coming out of the north on these fires, and those fires over there, they're coming out of the southwest. Or, I'm sorry, southeast. I said that wrong. There's another gaggle of buzzards over here. Maybe it's the same three. I don't know. Still pretty neat to watch the whole scheme of things unfold. Yeah, shit, they're going up. I need to come down, so I'm going to bail from where they're at. Man, you can see the haze out there in the distance. Looks wild. Oh, oh, going back in some lift here. Going up. There's lift everywhere today. And this is late in the day. The sun's, you know, kind of low. But it is shining, you know, pretty much straight down on everything. So, there's that. It's relatively smooth conditions. I was mentioning a while ago about, you know, is it right for the students? Yeah, no. It's... It's a tough call. It's um, certainly bumpy, thermic. Launches is gonna be the issue. Like you pull up and then some wind changes, a student's not ready for it. Again, I would I would be happy if they were down there kiting their wings. Let's look back and see what's going on. Oh yeah, Mr. Bill. Looks like Adam might have his out too. Good stuff, guys. That's what I'm talking about. That's what makes you a good pilot. Practicing, always practicing. Staying sharp, all these things. Glider's flying so good. I'm so happy about that. Wind's down there indicating east. You know what? I'm going to kill this thing. No need to have it idling back here on my back. Pretty straightforward thing to do. Let's open my ear. Oh, uh, opening the ear cup lets me hear better, but it also lets that cold wind on my ears. <laughs> I kind of like it not to. Oh, look, I'm in something now. And I'm out of it, and I'm in it, and I'm out. Yeah, I just hit some sink. Let's try those wind socks pointing down there. It's gonna take me a while to burn all this fuel doing it like this, guys. <laughs> I should have brought like a like a little wing that wasn't very efficient. That way I could stay on the power a little more. But I love the Zeno, man. I wanted to test out my trim job to see how she felt. It's, it's weird, the, the change. This is probably how it felt brand new out of the box. Probably pretty dang similar. But what happens is, as it falls out of trim, it's a very gradual thing. It's not something that you notice. A millimeter for every couple of hours or something of this nature, maybe. And it'll get to a point where it sort of stops, but it changes very, very slowly. And then when you let you retrim it, that's a huge change. That's, you know, 10 millimeters instantly. Having that big of a change is going to cause it to really be noticeable more so than, and it's, and it's more like something's off. Not like, oh, this is a huge drastic thing, but it is enough to notice. You know, a half inch on trimmers. If you had trimmers on it, it's kind of the difference here. Sort of what we're talking about. Oh yeah. There's some lift. I'm hearing a very strange sound out of my, uh, like when I turn my head sideways, it's coming from the earphones of the helmet. I don't know what that is. Like when you put a seashell up to your ear, that's kind of what I'm hearing. But when I turn my head to the right, I don't hear it. To the left, I don't hear it. It's something to do with the way the air is coming over this, uh, cup, these ear cups. That's my feeling. Let's see if I put my hand over it. No. It could be the helmet too. Strange, strange. Yeah, those thermals are pretty dang light. But this ship will harness those light ones nicely. Oh yeah. Fingers are starting to get cold. I left my electric gloves at home. It's warm on the ground. Famous last words, huh? <laughs> It's warm on the ground. All right, so I am going to restart this thing before I get too low. And it'll be my first time to... Oh, a sun dog. That's cool. First time for a mid-air restart on this one. There. 
and she fires right off just as I expected. When I'm landing in thermal conditions, I like to have the power on. Just for the mere fact, oh my God, that brake line is twisted so bad. Let me do some untwisting here. Is this one twisted? Kinda. There's a bit more wind down low than there was up top. That's interesting too. Okay, that's looking better there. This one. All right, I'm gonna fly left-handed for a minute. And I need to go this way. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, two, one. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, lost it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. We're cooking now. No air traffic. Bumps. Lift. There it is. That's what I've been looking for. And actually, I was looking to fly a little lower because I was getting cold up there. Yeah, there's the lift right there. Yep, yeah, wind socks all showing different stuff again. Story of the day, guys. Story of the get the the gay. Story of the gay. That's funny. It's gay when the wind socks don't line up. The winds southeast. Winds out of the north. Hey, the wind don't know what it wants to do today. It's just everywhere. I mean, it's going to be a nice, calm, cold evening, but for now, it's just uh, winds everywhere. I'm in that danger zone down here low. But again, we're just we're just talking bumps. There's no like wildly aggressive gust happening. No gust fronts on the horizon. I wonder if I was riding on a if there's a convergence line where that south wind and that north wind were meeting. I wonder if that's the lift band that I was in just then. It certainly is an option. See a line across the sky there. Got some stuff up above me here. What are the clouds telling me? Yeah, there's certainly, I'm, I'm in a, near a line that's separating some weather masses, but what I was in was just thermals though. Maybe a, maybe a slight bit of convergence. Who knows? Oh, getting out of the seat feels really good. Like you can really get, get out in front of this thing and change your angle. That I like. Let me see if I can demonstrate it on the shadow down here. All right, so I'm in a landing gear configuration. You see how how far up I am? Now, look how kickback I get when I get in the seat. It just scoops me up, man. It is so nice. These dudes are out here messing around. Hoping to go up. So it is quite a bit warmer down here than it is a couple thousand feet up. Let's try some full power again. There's a the thermal. Woo! Nice one. I'm turning that shit. Yeah, baby, yeah! Give it to me. <laughs> Back in it again. Oh, there she blows. They finna be doing some uh, ag cat operations out of here. I guess those are called ag cats. I don't know the model names or whatever. They have crop dusters. Aerial application operation. Let's feel the air. Feel the air, baby. Just a little bit of arm pressure on the brakes, that's all. What am I feeling? Feeling myself getting lower. And lower. And lower. Oh, and I'm leveling out. I'm leveling out. Oh, but now I'm out of it and I'm coming down hard. No! <laughs> That's what you're feeling for. Oh, there's some lift. Look at that. Look at me going up. Check that shit. <laughs> yeah, then I went out of it. Let's see if I can catch that again. Stay efficient, get back over here next to these trees. Oh, yep, yep, going up. Going up and idle. And going back down. There's not enough to, to sustain a climb this low. Add a little throttle to it. 
you know, the, the objective is not to motor thermal. It's just to get out here and run this engine for a bit. I let it cool down. I restarted it. I believe I'm going to land over here. Let these boys fly this thing, maybe. Overshoot my landing like crazy, of course. <laughs> Woohoo! See if I can do a restart on the run. You think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> that was a fun trick. I've done it in high wind. First time I've ever done it running before. You don't want to do it low, but you can do it on the ground. This damn glider just glides. Oh, there's some lift. Glides and glides and glides and glides. Holy shit. Have I ever said that I love this wing? I really do. <laughs> I really do. Can't make the stupid thing come down. Look, I'm still too high. Too high, too fast. <laughs> What's up? Can we degrade the glide? Can we? Is that a thing? <laughs> no, I'm gonna go back even further. I'm gonna set this up further back, guys. Holy shit. Now, maybe I'm low enough that I can get close under some power. Yeah, out of the seat, kick back. It's sort of that taxi position. See what the wind's doing. Okay, coming in shallow. Coming in shallow. <laughs> skip, skip, skip to Malou. Oh yeah, she's flying good now. That'll work. What's up? Didn't think I was gonna get on the ground. I got stuck up there. I, this is all a test. I've not even checked any of the footage. I've done a couple flights on it. That earpiece right there keeps popping out. And it's got a funny sound to it. Like when you kill the motor, it's like you got seashells over your ears. It's that, not the wind. It's, it's another thing that I'm hearing. Because if I turn my head sideways, it goes away. Immediately, I can hear the wind then. And then I turn back, it's like that kind of hum sound. I don't know. Because I was busy training the students, I realized that I did not have an outro to this video. This is the outro. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a really fun day for flying. Now it's been three weeks later. So looking back, I had a, I had a fun day. The glider's been flying really good since then. And I've put a lot of more time on it. Big thanks to the Patreon supporters. I've got the videos just stacked up. I've got 10, 15 videos ahead of what's actually being released right now. Of course, this one is coming down the pipe like 15 videos later. So if you're not a, uh, a Patreon subscriber, you're missing out on a lot of good Kylo content that is already out there. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you subscribe. I hope you like. If you can't do the Patreon, no worries. It's coming your way just at a little slower pace. I don't know how bored you get and how much you want, but I'm going to keep making this content as long as you guys keep watching it. I have a lot of fun doing it and I got nothing but love for you. Kyle out.